Way back south. Oh my god. Motherfucker. <laughs> wow, that's been a laugh. <laughs> Marisha, look, it's your husband. All oh, yeah. Everything mm. you do, <laughs> have done, or will do. Oh, so good. Oh, God, Doogie Howser, eat your fucking heart out. <laughs> You know, that, you know that part in, in the game where like you don't understand why you got so many points in a running gate as opposed to Paragon? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, now available in the merch store. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to run the game tonight. I can't. I can't focus. <laughs> Take two. Take two. Take two. <laughs> Steamy Doctor Mercer. <laughs> oh, I will never live that down. Oh, it's, it's great when you're a new actor in LA and everyone says, Yeah, you got to get some headshots. And I know all about it. Just get those costumes and character <laughs> shots in. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When you I show up it. right off the truck, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, you need some archetypes. Like, yeah, come, come with like a doctor outfit, come with come with like a regular like business suit, come with. Yeah, uniform. Yeah. Yeah. I got a few gigs that way. By Is doing there a, a few cowboy or I've done a lot of doctors. Worker. On, no, no, that, oh. all that photo was done as this. That's that's oh, literally good. the most it's ever you're done. Like, you're like 17 and a half here, right? Yeah. <laughs> that that would have been about 10 years ago. So, so 18. Early 30s. <laughs> yes, we'll go with that one. Oh, God. <laughs> D&D Beyond, everybody. There's such great sponsors. They've been putting up with my shenanigans for so long. So tonight I thought I would just do a simple, normal ad read for them, just singing their praises of the service, of the company, of how they're making D&D fun and easy again. So uh, I just wrote a little, quick little... I left it at home on my printer. Oh no. But it's okay. It's okay. No problem. I'm like a, I'm essentially like an improv god, right? So I'll just <laughs> I'll just uh, I'll make something up <laughs> on the fly. Uh, I'll just go from the heart. Um, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I like D and D Beyond. Uh, uh, um, Ugh, damn it, Sam. You're blowing it. Come on, come up with something, anything. Uh, they, because it works on PCs God. and Macintosh, uh, and, and that's very important because... What? That's the best you got? Macintosh? What is this, 1997? Say something that helps them sell subscriptions. Uh, and their logo uh, is um, neat. Their um, logo is neat? <laughs> Were you kicked in the head by a donkey? Okay. Forget the product. Just be funny. Tell a joke. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a priest and a rabbi uh, walk oh, into a strip oh. club. No, and no, 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 no. Are you trying to offend people? Look, just sing a song. At least Laura will pretend to enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get 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 you drunk. Get you love drunk on my humps. My humps, my humps. Stop right That's now. Really good. Uh, you are an idiot. Ugh. Why did I make a satanic deal with you? Your everlasting soul isn't worth this bullshit. I, Mephistopheles, hereby release you from our pact. Go on, live your life without my constant help and sense of humor. Sam Regal, I, Satan, am done with you. Oh. <laughs> wow, guys, I suddenly feel, I feel, I feel, I feel like that was a great D&D Beyond ad. <laughs> and scene. Wow. <laughs> that really zigged when I thought I was going to zag. Yeah. 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 That was so good. I will say, unfortunately, without Satan at your back, I don't think you're allowed to play Dungeons and Dragons yeah. anymore. It's kind of a requirement if you, like you don't know. <laughs> I didn't see it, see it, but people talk. Mister, did you often see it, see it? Did I often see what, what? See it, see it. Like penises? Have you seen a lot of wieners? I've seen so many penises. Really? Yeah. What's the but, best penis you've ever seen? But wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I still want that question yes, answered, okay. but he can go but, ahead. But just a point of clarification, we're talking voyeuristically because of your of the, uh, your household, you mean? Yeah, like yeah. you had a peep window or something. What's it matter? Even if she hadn't seen him voyeur. I just want to understand what we are talking about. Like, you know, up close is different than from behind the boudoir. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've seen, I've seen them mostly not 
when they knew that I could see them. If that's what you mean. Yeah, yeah. 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 your your. Why are you, you so interested in people's sex lives, Caleb? Like, why? <laughs> like, I'm the now. I want to know the fav- your favorite one you've ever seen. Yeah, what's your yeah. best dick? My best dick. Pick if one. it's too hard to pick, you can do top three. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, I saw Molly's when we were in the bathhouse. <laughs> oh. Oh. Was it, was it, I th- did we, we must have all seen it, but. Uh, how, how did it Reminding compare? Reminding everyone that we have all seen each other naked. Molly's yeah. was pretty good. In terms of being just giant or I, just like well proportioned, symmetrical? Really nice and it was a good color. Only <laughs> <laughs> because when I saw it last, it was a bit of a mess. It looked. There's a little bit Egg McMuffin, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, that's right, he did some stuff to it. Yeah. No, when it was clean, it was lovely. Like, uh, yeah. Traditional. Yeah. Is it ash breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> Call that the Continental. Yeah. Bryce this point goes, well, folks, I think this is my uh, cue. Uh, you can see from the sound of, of, of hoof prints what appear to be uh, two carts, 30 or 40 feet off to the side, heading up the road. Uh, at the front, you see uh, a, I wouldn't say cloaked, but hooded man, kind of with a head wrap that falls into a scarf over one shoulder, uh, kind of a long gray and gold set of like comfortable travel robes. So at the front, who's just kind of just looking over in your direction. In the back of the cart, you see what look to be numerous sizes of metallic cages of some kind. Mm. Are there people in them? Make perception check. 19. No people. You do see a number of creatures. It's little animals. It's a traveling zoo. What kind of creatures? Maybe it's a petting zoo. Uh, at this distance, you can see uh, what appear to be a number of small, feathered, winged creatures on perches in the inside of one cage. Um, and you can see uh, what looks to be uh, on the back cart, just from this, from this distance. You can't make out too much from this. You can see what looks to be two small, uh, furred creatures that are both kind of circling each other in the cage in the back. Let's go take a look. Is he stopped or is he moving? He's moving, just kind of glancing over and noticing this weird kind of green dome off to the side. Morning. Good morning. Do you have animals in there? Yes. Did you, are they nice? They are very nice. They are very young, and they are ripe for finding someone who would wish to give them the attention and training they deserve. <gasps> oh, God. Wait, wait, wait! Can we pet them? No, but you may look to purchase if you are interested. Okay, okay. I run over. Yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. look yeah, yeah, to yeah. purchase, gesture. Just look. <laughs> I got to see this. I'm getting up. I, I go over as well. You all begin to walk over. Thinking. As you all begin to approach, he's like, oh, <laughs> pulls in the reins, and the horse is going to come to a stop. And you look, and it's it's one man. This gentleman, as you approach, he uh, uh, he's heavier set with uh, very tan, kind of just sun weathered skin. Uh, kind of the folds of his neck just barely peering past the the wrap over his, his neck. But he seems relatively positive and jolly when you approach. He has this kind of smile, and his uh, his eyes are are very welcoming. Um, there are two other figures that are walking alongside the carts that appear to be uh, keepers that are just keeping an eye on the creatures, and you can see there are a number of small bags and things that contain food and uh, general means of keeping these animals. And as you approach and look, these animals are kept in fairly good conditions. They're not, they don't look abused or mm-hmm. anything, they're just being brought. Um, he, as they're stopping the horses, steps off, pulls back the, the wrap from his head, and it's just a smooth, bald head with a little bit of stubble coming in around the sides. You can see he's kind of mostly gone bald on top. He smiles. Well, it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am uh, Kestif Drudi. I, I am a I am a handler of of creatures of, of fantastical possible talent, and uh, we travel along these routes to find homes for these majestic creatures. <laughs> if you are looking to purchase, we can give you a uh, a quick view of our wares. By the way, Caleb uh, has stayed behind. He has no interest. He's keeping the hut up and petting his own uh, cat okay. uh, and watching. I, I guess. Stay uh, far, far back, just watching from a hidden position. What kind of animals do you ever want one? And giving a, a display, uh, the two other uh, 
helpers begin opening one cage in the far back, and you can see the two creatures that pull on the side as they walk over with two uh, very young tiger cubs. <gasps> oh, uh, no. Orange and white with black stripes across their back. These are twin cubs, um, the last of their litter that were uh, given birth to, not but uh, about no. six weeks before. No. Twin cubs. <gasps> no. Twin cubs. <laughs> no. If you would like to make a home for either of these, they are a 70 gold a piece, or if you want to buy them as a pair, merely 120 gold. One girl, two cubs. Sweet tiger cubs uh, into Sam, that. Would like, Sam, would you like an animal companion? Is there anything we can't, can't sell? Well, like? I should probably <laughs> hold them the to see we'll if they cracker. will like me or not. But of course, here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> takes one cub and hands it to you. Um, and they look like they'd, they'd woken up not long before, and they're kind of like. <laughs> big, God. big, big paws that are kind of oversized for their physicality. Kind of hands the other one over to you, and as it hands the other one over, this one is like climbing up your shoulder. It gets a little rambunctious, oh. and it's kind of across your the back You're and so shoulder area. And you're kind of I mean, should we have some tiger? <laughs> should we have some? They look what very else? happy with you. I'm Not really going happy to. with them. I, I, what per, else? Do perhaps, you have? perhaps there is something else. Caleb is very judgmentally petting his <laughs> head. <laughs> what else do you have, though? Uh, we have a. Uh, Jamila, who is in need of a home and some care, and points over to another cage, and you can see uh, an older baboon. Um, you, can, you can see kind of like the orangish red fur fading to gray. Uh, it, it, it looks older. You can see kind of the drooping skin. It has one arm up holding onto a branch in the cage and looks over and it's like. Is he nice? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, uh, is, well, she uh, she is uh, unique. Maybe a bit of a big personality, but overall, uh, very useful. This is and uh, she sucks. How much is she, though? Uh, Forty-five gold for her. Well, I could probably get all three. What else do you have? <laughs> we have, and turns a sleep spell. And you can see uh, one of the helpers is uh, two of the helpers have gone into the, the one of the larger cages and pulled out on these like leather cords that they keep kind of wrapped around a finger with these little loops that are affixed to the legs of these three uh, smaller kind of parrot-like birds. This is a blue dollop and kind of sets it over onto the edge there. Oh, on my horn. On, on, on the horn. Okay. Uh, this is a purple feather joppy and hands it over to you. This is a yellow-white correct, and the third bird is placed over onto your other hand. These uh, run about 20, uh, no, these are 15 gold pieces a piece oh, for these birds. That's not like that's nothing, really. Those hard shell drops. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're basically free. I mean, yeah. He takes the cubs from you, and puts them back in the cage. We also have, and points over to an owl. Oh, you see an, an owl, a large owl in one of the far back cages that is kind of like curled up. You can see in the daylight, it's kind of like it, it, it's not, it's now hitting the end of its, of its uh, conscious cycle. And the head kind of. <laughs> it just stays in the cage. Uh, the owl is 20 gold pieces. And you hear this like. From the back cage, and you can see this this like vibrant green peacock that is in one of the, oh, their back the parts. Oh, uh, thank you. That's what they sound like. Uh, Talison, Talison, this one's for you. <laughs> and you see it kind of like yeah. sitting in the cage. Bastards, those yeah, they're they're, they're, they're yeah, dicks. Yeah, they but it's kind of sitting there in the cage, kind of. Yeah, but still. <laughs> the peacock will run you forty gold pieces to purchase. Uh, we have in that cage over there, and you see this like long branch. It's kind of twisted up in the side, and you. Uh, he's not the one. Come on, show yourself. And he takes a little stick out the side and kind of pokes the, the log. And you see up on the log this tiny, kind of crimson colored weasel. This long weasel creature. This is a crimson weasel. Um, <laughs> you can make him a little mask. Yeah, this and then is the crimson weasel. The crimson weasel. <laughs> is it 20 gold pieces for the crimson weasel? Wait, I need to hold the weasel. <laughs> I'm thinking about buying the weasel. You go ahead and take the bird off of your yeah. horn. <laughs> Let me retrieve the other it's birds off of Bo and take them in the cage. Two, two, two birds for that owl. Can I hold the owl? 
I goes over and opens the owl cage, gets a heavy leather glove on. Yeah, I feel like I'm really holding these animals. I know. Gets a heavy leather glove on and then reaches into to get the owl and it kind of takes about three or four minutes to eventually nudge it to get onto the arm and the owl's just like fucking not having any of it and it's like, no. Nah, nah. Wait, if you buy the yeah, owl and I buy a weasel, <laughs> is your owl going to eat my weasel? Would the owl eat the weasels? No. There is a reason we keep them in separate cages, yes. Well, could we teach them to be friends? That is up to you. <laughs> I cannot, I cannot guarantee success in this endeavor, but you are welcome to try. Being an actual predator of the uh, crimson weasel, I would not recommend it, but it is your purchase. I kind of like a challenge. Mm. That's going to be a dead pet. <laughs> I don't want him to eat my weasel, though. Mm. Can I hold it? How many times? Did Brings you hear the weasel that? over. <laughs> there is another leather leash I'm, on the weasel. You, hands it over. Oh, the weasel kind of climbs See up your arm. Mouth, Immediately it hits you. The smell is not. Pleasant, but not terrible either. It's just definitely, definitely a smell of of creature. That's the best way I can describe it. Kind of like a mix between nut and Caleb. Yeah, it's 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 almost it's almost citrusy, but like Ooh. fermented citrus. Mm, um, similar to like a ferret smell, kind of. Um, but it, it makes its way up the arm and kind of like curls up and nestles into you. It's pretty soft. Uh-huh. Um, we have one one more. Uh, this. Uh, this is a trained uh, creature, because we have to train them initially, or we cannot keep it with us. Um, turns around and uh, pulls out the side a tiny little puppy. It's like a soft, kind of brown Go puppy cow. with a bit of full. What are you doing? And, and pulls are you it up. What? <laughs> what? Goes, this one is 100 gold pieces. What did it do? What does it train with you? Yeah, well, it is trained to, to stay within its cage, because when it gets excited and it, it pulls it over towards you and the tail kind of wags, and then it <laughs> vanishes from his hand, and then <gasps> appears blink in the ground dog, next blink, to you. Fucking blink dog! I mean, I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> appears in the ground next to you and is like, <laughs> and kind of curls up and starts like you buy that nibbling shit. on your boot. How much is this one? It is 100 gold. 100 gold? For a cute blinky dog? Uh, is the is the uh, the owl the natural predator of blink dogs? No, or would the, the, owl... dog, the dog is too large. The dog will get larger. I will warn you. It will gets the dog too... eat the owl? No. Uh, probably not, How unless much it. For the dog and the owl. I want the I want the dog for sure. Yes. Yeah, it's a bird of prey that you have to wear a glove to dog, handle. How awesome is that? What do you the do tiger. With birds? <laughs> and, oh, how much is the How much is the weasel again? <laughs> Gold pieces. Talus yeah, and the Caduceus have very awesome. conflicting feelings right you ever now. Eaten tiger we should split the dog, and we can have a pet together, <laughs> and you can room with us whenever we go anywhere. Mm, okay. Yeah. And then you can I've get never been your so owl to a and make sure he doesn't take my weasel. Definitely get the weasel. Get the weasel too. Okay. Here's my question. What do we do? With all these animals, <laughs> that's a very that's a very good question. We're gonna get them, but what do we but do? Why did you put yeah. this in front of us, Matt? I know. Why? Um, you know exactly why. Because it's funny. <laughs> do what? Can I pet? Can Make I pet? an animal handling check. Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, you go to pet it, and like you, as, as your hand gets close, it kind of like rears back and opens its beak a bit, and you're like, and you go and pet it, and kind of like. The eyes squint very tightly, and then eventually gets like. Squinches. Yeah, squinches. And the feathers kind of furl up a little bit, and it tends to poof. It seems like it's it's enjoying it begrudgingly, like it's really trying not to, but it's like, mm, oh, this does feel good. Mm. Oh, we're so much alike. Cool. Now, yeah. Bo, you know a pet is a lot of responsibility. <laughs> I'm so glad that this is happening. I just want you to understand, you're going to have to feed it, take yeah. care of it, okay. clean up after it. I know, Ford. And I take out a little metal wire and I add this conversation and say, you are responsible for this animal's stealth checks. Get out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you are not interested, please let us know. We do have traffic No, no, to get, no, I want but... the weasel. I want the owl. Weasel. I will, all right. You're leaving the yes. puppy box. 20, 20 gold pieces from each of you. You're leaving, you the, the, sweet, the, you're leaving the puppy box. No, we're going to get the dog. And we're going to split the cost of the dog. All right, oh, that is 140 gold total. Okay, okay. Can we, get a, can we start a pool about which animal dies first? Weasel. <laughs> or lost, just lost. Weasel. Weasel. Okay. So. This is, my, in my daughter's campaign of eight-year-olds, all the girls are like, can I have a pet? 
it's just like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These two. Yeah. You yeah. did this. Yeah. You did this. Yeah, I did. And uh, <laughs> this, I'm going to warn you. This puppy is no. rambunctious and, uh, well, as he's making a transaction, he's not going to tell you after the fact like a tool. He's no. gonna be like, and he's like um, you must be diligent and begin to train it to know who is home, or else you'll lose it. <gasps> so begin training it now. <gasps> what should we name him? Oh no. I, I, I don't know. What do we name him? It's too much. Nugget. I'm not against it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nugget. Nugget the blink dog. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Are you double guns like Weasel and Dog? I got Weasel up here, Dog right here. <laughs> What's his name? Poof. Nugget. 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 And we are home. We are home. always blink to us. Make an animal handling check. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Be cruel, Matt. It, do it. <laughs> blinks out of your hand, oh, no. and you feel this weight up in your horns. Ah! And you look over and see it's like slipping off of her horn, trying to hold on. Oh, it's just like it. its hind legs are kicking up, trying to get leverage. We got you. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna love him. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Oh, we have a dog. What the fuck did we just do? I don't know. <laughs> Why did we do this? I don't know. This, might have been this was like idea. a red bear bridge. Yeah, totally was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got goldfish. <laughs> if you guys are wandering back, Caleb is giving Jester the vaguest stink eye as he scratches. Frumpkin's head. Nice. We have a pet. On the we plus have side. another pet. That is super. <laughs> I'm gonna just ni nicely fold his clothes and put it on a nearby log or something. Okay. And then I'll pull up my cloak of elven kind and uh, put out a couple of pieces of meat uh, because Ford told me that uh, oh. seagulls have come for food and I'll hide and have my cross for a Just ready to go. Okay. Um, I'm, you're, I'm not stopping. <laughs> as you crouch down, you notice the clothing you place as Caleb begins to shift. Moving slowly to one side. Was trying to, are you trying to prank Caleb? I will not stand for that. Well, I'll go fetch it. Pick you it up. You pull it up, and you can see beneath it uh, a large sand crab that kind of like emerge from underneath it, kind of looks up at you with those two small word. black beady pearl like <laughs> eyes and the claws. I got a crab. Uh, make a dexterity check. Oh, yeah. Eleven. It rolled exactly an eleven on its dexterity, so you managed to just capture it, and it's now it's going to attempt to, to snipe it. <laughs> Uh, that's a that's a seventeen to hit with the class. <laughs> <laughs> your thumb crink, clamps down, and there's an immediate flash of pain through your body. <laughs> As you're like trying to to shake it off, it's still just kind of <laughs> being back and forth, holding on tightly. I will. Uh, I'll try. I'll. I'm gonna go down on it with my knee, like like jump up and knee <laughs> knee down on it. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Oh make an acrobatics check. Okay. Ten. Getting your ass. Ten. On a crowd of sandcrab. Thankfully, it rolled lower than you. Because <laughs> I would. I would. <laughs> It takes you a little bit of effort. It takes you two or three leaps because it keeps like skittering out of the way, and you're not about to be bested by a small crustacean. No. For the third try, you manage to get just enough leverage as you push into the air, and with one resounding <laughs> crack down through its external shell, it releases its grip somewhat on your thumb. You have to actually pry it off. It seems to be locked into its death grip. You fought bravely. <laughs> <laughs> More bait. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just break a bunch of the crab and put it out. Okay. Go back um, to my perch. <laughs> and over the next ten minutes or so, you watch as one seagull kind of <laughs> comes down, eat and grabs it. <laughs> About twenty-five of them suddenly descend as word gets out, and you were just surrounded by white birds. Go ahead and we'll say we'll say for the sake of narrative, like you managed to pick off about eight of them before they ended up scattering away from it, and you just have this beach just riddled with dead seagulls with crossbow bolts out of their bodies. Yeah. Name is actually let me put it up. Nadine, and uh, she peeks through, looking. At you. I, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, what did you say? Um, I'm here to see the Ruby of the Sea. Uh, unfortunately, uh, she is uh, going to be performing shortly. I know, I know, I know, I know. Tell her that I'm here. I am. Yes. Uh, she is. No, I know. Not Just taking tell her. Any sort of tell her. The little suffer is here to see you, Ruby. <laughs> you hear a voice from behind her go. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? 
<laughs> and from peeking over the shoulder, as your as your vision focuses into the chamber beyond, uh, low lit beyond just the series of candles that are set around the single mirror, uh, you see the uh, beautiful red skin of your mother and the the dark hair tumbled past the shoulder as she's been uh, wearing a mostly laced up bodice. Um, as one of the other servant is in the process of lacing and tying it, glances over her shoulder, kind of pushes past the edge of the chair. And goes, it's me. It's me. You see her smile brightly, her, her uh, kind of faintly white, glowing with a hint of, of, of yellowish gold tint to her eyes, uh, bright and immediately. And goes, well, uh, come in, come in. Uh, please, Excuse close the door me, for me. Pain. And he closes the door and goes, I, 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 very confused by this mystery, but uh, whatever you require. Uh, at which point, the other one is, is lacing, is still like pulling on the back of the bodice, and without even looking at her, uh, uh, Marianne just kind of pushes her aside and goes, shh. I run for and give her a big hug. Uh, as, as you kind of give her a hug, she kind of holds you there and goes, um, I, you look different. It's a spell. I'm actually still me. Don't worry. There's a nod, and their their kind of tension in her body melts as her arms kind of enclose on your shoulders and back and pulls you in close in this this moment of, of warmth and, and relief that washes over both of you at being reunited here in this chamber. The uh, the two servants kind of sit in the back awkwardly, not quite understanding entirely either, and kind of whispering to each other. Uh, while Marion just continues to hold you and rock you back and forth, and just goes, "My beautiful Chester, I've missed you so much." I missed you so much. I missed you so much. I wanted to come home sooner, but we got distracted because we went to the Empire. But I, I, I remember you telling me you were going to go there. Well, that's right. I sent you messages. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, how how was it? I have not traveled beyond the boundaries. Um, it's really like kind of cold, and you know the people are pretty strict. But there are some really really nice people that you can meet. I met a lot of friends. You should meet them. I'd be happy to. And she, They're she, downstairs. She kind of traces her fingers along her face. Goes like, yep. Can I, I put her hand on my horn so she can tell us? She it's feels still there. it. And she's like, can I see my little girl? Is it okay with them? Um... They're fine. <laughs> <laughs> he dropped the illusion, and even though she knew it wasn't until actually she gets an opportunity to look upon your face and your hair and your eyes and your smile that you watch just life breathe in like a renewed fire into the chest of your mother. Immediately she grabs the sides of your cheeks and pulls you in and goes, I missed you so much. And just brings you in and kisses you on the forehead and starts running her fingers through your hair and there's oh, just... careful of the weasel. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Sprinkle Mama. He is very adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say I left Nugget downstairs with you guys. Okay, okay, okay. After you beat on it. Yeah. <laughs> she immediately like like starts like kind of brushing your hair with her fingers on the side. It's like, I, you've gone so far and traveled so much, you have to tell me about what you've done. I will, of course. Do you want me to finish lacing you up? Your performance is tonight. Uh, it, yes, it is. Um, please, uh, do not mind. She, she knows what to do. And so, now in front of the mirror with you behind her, she's looking at you through the mirror over her shoulder as you're helping lace at the back of her bodice. And We went to a town and it was burned down and we killed a bunch of gnolls and we took off their ears. And then we went to another city and we fought these fish people in this swamp and it was really crazy. And then, my oh my goodness. gosh, you should meet this monk girl that I know. She's crazy and she fights with her fists and also with a staff and she's really strong. And there's this other girl who has wings. And they tell her all about it. All right, she, she's just enthralled, like just listening to all this. And I, <laughs> I would never have thought my little jester would be seeing the world and and fighting creatures and fighting so much. You should see how strong I've gotten. I want to see how strong you've gotten. Well, I mean, okay. Do you want me to punch you? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. Wait. Till after the performance, okay. I've just applied my. Uh, anyway, <laughs> musicians begin to slowly build up to a new type of song that begins to fill the space. Oh God, yes. You hear the gentle footfalls down the stairs, curving down 
from the right-hand side to the central staircase, the beautiful visage of the Ruby of the Sea in her dark dress, the train dangling up about six or seven steps behind her as her fingers trace the sides of the railing. She comes down, takes a breath, and begins to gently sing to the audience around you. And you watch as everyone in the room begins to lean forward and trance, the beautiful voice filling the interior of this inn. The, uh, the lights seem to almost flicker and shift with her emotional intent of the song. Uh, as her voice fills uh, the space with warmth, the light seems to brighten ever so gently with each crescendo. Uh, even the bartenders themselves have stopped. They've seen performances like this hundreds of times. It's still a performance that draws attention from all across the coast and beyond. Um, Jester, you've seen this many times as well, but it doesn't ever lose its luster. You see as all the tables themselves are just quiet, as she steps into the center of the room, kind of walking from table to table, tracing the edges with her fingers, making eye contact with each of the patrons. You see as that older man and the, the younger woman sitting at the table uh, both kind of sit comfortably watching, uh, but can't help but smile in the presence of this fantastic vocalist. Uh, you see at another table, there is a uh, rather burly-looking man who is well-dressed, though a bit uh, rugged for what he's wearing, who is uh, flanked by two dwarven bodyguards, it looks like, and he's leaning in real intent on the table towards her, and as she steps by, he kind of touches her hand, and she kind of touches it and pulls away a bit and gives him a wink and continues singing, and he pulls back into his chair, resting. You watch as one of the other tables has these three merchants uh, that have been there since the moment you arrived, who seem to be eagerly counting out coins and like pushing them to the edge of the table to tip her. And as she passes by, she kind of glances off to one of the assistants who rushes over and scoops them off the table. She does not accept the tips herself. Um, Classy. <laughs> <laughs> but nevertheless, for those of you who this is your first time here within the Lavish Chateau, this is definitely one of the most beautiful performances you've seen, and you immediately see why Jester's mother, why the Ruby of the Sea, or at least one of the many reasons that she's renowned across these lands. As long as you'd like to stay. We could stay here forever if we wanted to. <laughs> that is I don't think that's what she means. most. Well, you would have to eventually pay, but you are welcome <laughs> to stay for a while under uh, my name. Please, oh, what, uh, I would like to know the names, if you would like to introduce. This is Ford. I met him earliest. He's a half-orc, and he's growing his teeth back, and he's very, very handsome. I can see that. <laughs> it's a pleasure. I can see where Jester gets her good looks from. Well, uh, I can see where she speaks honestly in front of her mother as well, and she puts her hand out. Oh, I'll give it a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> She kind of pulls away, but like take, rests just a moment on your fingertips before pulling away and kind of smiles. I can uh, see you are a very strong, willed, and protective man. Do you watch over Jester in my stead? I do, I try to. Good. I feel better knowing that she's safe in your care. Anyway. This is Bo. She's really strong. She's the one I was telling you about that can fight things with right? a stick. Right, you mentioned that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bo, it is a pleasure. So. She kind of reaches and shakes your I hand. I also. Four. Yank. Do the fingertip thing back. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> the pleasure is mine as well. Ah, uh, Caleb. This is Caleb. He's a wizard. He has a lot of fire and stuff. He he likes his books, and um, he used to smell bad, but he doesn't anymore. He likes water now. I, I, <laughs> you have a, a beautiful singing voice. Thank you very much for the performance. You have a very thank charming you. daughter. Thank you, and thank you. <laughs> you um, I can sense a bit rough in the social graces, so I am very honored that you would come to see my performance. Is that a, a Zemnian accent? I am afraid so, yeah. It is. It shows that you've traveled some some distance to be here. Yeah. I appreciate that. Fish out of water, yeah. <laughs> well, you found plenty of it here, so perhaps the fish has found a home. <laughs> She's good. 
<laughs> this is not. She's very, very, very brave, even though she's very small. Be careful of your rings. I wouldn't steal from your mother, and if I did, we would solve the crime. That's right, because we are detectives, and we're really good at solving cases. She's kind of my partner in crime. Well, uh, very, I was not aware this was the, um, the dress of a detective. Oh, am I still in my? Yes, you are. Uh, I will, uh, oh, well. I'll, I'll, I will drop my form. This is what you really He takes a step back. <sighs> oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, don't, don't apologize. I, uh, <laughs> Always with the teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <That's>, uh, <laughs> This is, not, feathers, this, like is not, this is not seagull blood. This is not human blood. The world is made of all kinds. If you need an extra seagull or two, I have seven to spare, and I would happily leave you one or two of those. They are the rats of the city. I have had plenty, but they I sure think. You. Are. <laughs> well, I think you are very adorable. It is a pleasure to meet you, Not. You are adorable. Well, she's very nice. It's lovely to meet you. I'll curtsy. <laughs> she grabs the edges of her robe and kind of counter curtsies halfway, and while she's sitting in her chair. And this oh, yes. one. This and this is, this is, yeah, he'll pop back up. He's got We're pink hair. That. He used to live in a cemetery. He doesn't know a lot of things. He doesn't know anything about sex, and he drinks dead people. Too. <laughs> so, interesting. <laughs> oh no, less oh. of a. A cemetery, more of a graveyard. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. Well, you've not been outside of this graveyard that my daughter speaks of. Uh, only uh, recently, yeah. A man fresh to the world of uh, vice, I presume? Ah, uh, aware of it, but uh, just trying to only dip a couple toes in. Oh, my uh, daughter will break you of any habits of ignorance very quickly. I don't know what that means. Good. <laughs> I would like to know what that means. You carry very interesting companions. I know. <laughs> They've saved my life, you know. And I've saved theirs, because I'm a really good cleric. Mm. Did I, you know that I do that now? I did not. I can heal people, Mom. That is incredible. She can heal people. <laughs> 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 she's, she's been, she is able to. <laughs> she's been very helpful in a few frays. Uh, we owe her quite a bit. Well, I am grateful that you all have kept her safe. And uh, I am excited to hear that you've been able to, to do such incredible things. Mm -hmm. um, but why, uh, is this your friend, the one you mentioned before? The, the traveler? Oh, no, he's not, he's not here. No, but the, uh, the healing. The healing? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> wow, oh, very well. I well that know. is incredible. Yeah. Well, uh, well, I, here, let's have some drinks. You're quite the gentleman. Oh. He's actually not the gentleman. We met a guy, goes by the name no, Gentleman. Uh, uh, Are you a friend uh, of him? Uh, oh, gentleman. she's like, yeah. oh, okay, got you. I don't know who knows who. He's blue as well, and he's always sweaty. Yeah. Dark hair. He's wet. Yeah. He's a wet, he's wet walker. He's always really wet. A wet walker. Yes, I, I, I know of him. Oh. You know of the gentleman? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Because we're not cool with him so, so much. Well, I know of a man of you describe, of bluish skin and quite sweaty, yes, he is come through before. Was he nice, or was he not nice? He was very nice. He was very dashing. Yeah? I told you about him before. What? What? Wait a minute. But not the gentleman, though. I don't, don't know the name the gentleman, but he has dark hair, he has got like black hair that's really long. And blue skin. <clears throat> oh my god, your mother knows the gentleman. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, it goes a no. little deeper than that, do you see? Is that? Oh. Is that what's happening? Oh. That's why you always have a little sweat 
right there. <laughs> we are. Tell me more of this this gentleman, please. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, he lives in Zadash, and he lives in a bar, and he's got long black hair, and he's really like, mm, kind of charming, sort of, but kind of snarky at the same time. Well-dressed, smooth voice, little, 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 little patch of dark hair on the chest the, right there. He wasn't named the gentleman when I met him. What, what oh. was he named? I never asked. I have a vial of his spit. <laughs> Can you analyze it? <laughs> <No. laughs> I don't know. Oh, this she kind of smirks a bit and says, oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> He did wear lots of rings on his fingers. We had a bit of a a romance years ago. How many years ago, by the way? <sighs> I told you about Babanon. 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 Yes. Wow. I didn't ask if that was his name, though. Babanon. Your dad's name is Bob. <laughs> <laughs> B A B. You say he's in Zadash now. But yeah, you said he lived in the ocean. Got it, Bob. That's what he told me. Basar? Basal. Oh my god. What if the gentleman is my dad? Wait, what? Are we saying if or are we saying is? Well, we don't know for sure. I mean your mother might know. Do you have a, a picture of him? No. Do you no. have a drawing of him? Why don't you draw the gentleman? Draw you probably got drawings on him. Made a book. <laughs> this is the perfect time for a game of Pictionary. I'm so excited. I will ask both of you, both of you, don't look. Oh, yeah. You draw one, and she draws one. Oh, oh, she's she's oh yeah. yeah. Oh, draw. Please get I'd like to think the party is legitimately this excited. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. very much. Well, and you, and you, and you. I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> This is the best episode of Mari ever. You can see Marion seems both like both present and not. Like she's trying to kind of process all of this. She reaches over and, and goes to her counter and begins drawing. And she's not anywhere near as good an artist as well, her this daughter. Is, this is pure gold. What's happening? Here? It is. It is amazing what's happening over here. This is. I love uh, that you're physically. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm glad is. that an offhanded joke about the yeah, gentleman for, led to uh, this. The cartoon character Daria. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some huge sweat drops. Wait, let me see. It looks like Daria. <laughs> <laughs> Dar to. Daria with a beard. <laughs> Jester's a really good drawer, even though I'm not. Have you seen Bullshit. this boy? And she's not a good artist either. She's like. Oh, that's <laughs> so much better! <laughs> Let me see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, Does wow. it look like the same person when we look at the two drawings? Uh, you can you can make a connection. Okay. Jester, that is quite the revelation. That's big. So many horses on this lighthouse. <laughs> you know, <laughs> kept trying to find the right audio file, and they all just kept coming up real busy. <laughs> We've been shooting horses outside just just on Tuesdays. It's a really it's a really busy oh, wharf, shit. guys. <laughs> a lot of uh, anyway. Um, fuck me for trying to add atmosphere, right? <laughs> He's juggling a lot of plates. We know. I know. I know. Uh, Please. Last week I was like, how does this shit work? What do I do here? And one of them appears to be kind of. Half present, probably in mid daydream, yawning at his post, and um, looks younger than the other one. You probably between the two of them, he's probably the most insecure. If you had to decide. Mm. Oh gosh, in the water, just so beautiful. Man, it's. I'm sorry. Can I help you? It's hot out here. It's just so, so yeah. moist. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Air, right? Oh, oh. And I kind of. <sighs> What's your name? I'm sorry. Um, I am working at the moment. Uh, oh, great, because I could totally use some help. <laughs> and you see his eyes roll from him, and he goes, What can I do to help you then? 
Well, you see, I'm from out of town. What's, I'm Tracy, by the way. What's your name? He sighs heavily and reaches out and finally takes the hand and goes, Hello, I am Zelezo Mepal. Mepal. Hi. <clears throat> Hi. Um, it's just, you know, I'm here and I'm trying to get the true Nicodronus experience while I'm in town. And, mm. you know, I, I just, I've heard rumors from people, you know, about this thing called the Sluice Weave. And, you know, it just, I would just love to see it, see if it's real, you know? Make a persuasion check. Okay. 14? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh, baby. I'm too dumb to be a risk, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He goes, he goes, oh, that is a very specific uh, curiosity. Um, I'm into curiosities. <laughs> I'm a curious person. Well, it, it, um, the, 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 the sluice weave is a series of tunnels that are, um, they were installed probably a century ago that are responsible for uh, the, the, they're ducts that guide water from the ocean to a series of small engines in the city that um, uh, help propel the furnaces that the various uh, uh, businesses and uh, uh, locations here that require that sort of intense power to utilize. Wow. Um, I hear they're haunted. Are they haunted? Well, uh, not haunted per se, but there, there oh, you gave me a little smirk. They're totally haunted. <laughs> 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 yes. not, not haunted, but there, there, there are nice elements to it. Like, like <laughs> it's like. He <laughs> <laughs> um, goes. Uh, there, there are also um, there are things um, that that help maintain the sluice um, uh, ducts, and occasionally help protect elements of the bay if ever it's under attack. I bet you're first in line to protect the city against an attack, aren't you? Well, I, I mean, there's, there's been, um, you know, about a year ago, they had this one ship that came into the ship, and there, there was these, these, yeah. these thieves and knights that were, and I happened to be on, oh on job at, at the moment, and so wow. I thought, yeah. So I was, interesting. So have you been down there? I haven't been down in the Sluice area. No. There, um, I mean, the, the entrance, uh, as far as I know, is, is mostly hidden, the one inside the city, but uh, oh, there so there's one inside the city? Somewhere, I don't know. Oh, wow, but, but there I heard is... there was one in the ocean. Yeah, uh, there's uh, two or three, I think, that are um, right down um, off the side. Here, come here. And he yeah. kind of, he, yeah, he, 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 he leads you over. We're all just aghast. <laughs> just like... I turn to Ford and I go, <laughs> <laughs> he leads you over uh, across the dock for a bit, and he, and he points down in the water and goes, I think somewhere in this vicinity, there's sort of the, um, uh, the, the intake uh, tube or pipe um, where, the, the, where the ocean water is brought in to the, the, the sluice ducts. Um, like suction. Make perception check. Oh, my God. Oh, my <laughs> make a per uh, this, perception. This, this cake needs Very more simple. layers, girl. Perception, yes. 15. Um, from this distance, it's too hard to see beneath the water. It gets a little oh. too murky. Um, but he points in a general direction, and you get kind of a, a loose idea of where it may be. Wow! Yeah. It's like, cool. um, so what? Uh, so what, what are you up to while you're in the city? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> wow! Yeah, you know, I'm just I'm, I'm so busy. You know, just trying to fill my schedule with things. I should probably go now. Of course, where so? are you staying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I'm staying at the uh, the Chartreuse, the Lavish Chateau. Oh wow, that that is a very expensive place. I know you probably couldn't afford it, so. Oh, wow. Oh. Uh, you, you, you you can see the visible like <clears throat> to his chest. He's <laughs> like, well, um, perhaps I'll, I'll uh, wait, if you want other. Things to see around the city. When I'm not on my post, I could maybe uh, come by and give you a little tour. Sure, that sounds great. Of course. What are you doing right now? Um, I only have about uh, 40 minutes until I get to switch my shift, and, and I'm off for the rest of the afternoon. So. 
this, this, is, this is everything I want. This is so painful, I feel like I should make a concentration check on my spell. <laughs> You know, I'm actually doing a quick little boat tour just right over there, but I'll be right back. Okay, bye. <laughs> 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 he looks a bit kind of flabbergasted. Just over there. I'll be right back. Just <laughs> see you later. Oh, what was it? Uh, what was the name? Tracy. Tracy. You what was your name? And he kind of sits there for a second and just kind of. Just oh wait, Tracy. you use more yeah. salt, more butter, purple. Marple. 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 Wait, that was. I think that was Marius. <laughs> yeah, no, different name. Um, but he, he just seems to kind of think to himself like Tracy, <clears throat> and then continues the rest of his his post along the uh, the dockside. I need a shower. I need a shower. Where impressive. did that come from? I don't know. I think it was something deep down inside of me that I actually really hate. That I is there. It's so like maybe always been there. I mean, I had just I kind of had to. Let's go. I don't want to talk about that anymore. That's okay. Yeah. Inside of you, who the fuck is Tracy? <laughs> Everything you did with that kind of power, I mean, having access to that kind of creature, I, I can't imagine that you were on the up and up about everything you did. Especially if you start to admit that you did it all yourself, and I'll use Mask of Many Faces to look just like him. People are going to have to start asking questions. Serious questions. <sighs> you, like, is, you, you hear his head hit the stone once more, it's like, who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Make an intimidation check with advantage. <laughs> so badass. Strong. Yeah. Everyone yeah, you're else right. died. Yeah. You had an so axe fuck in him, your fuck head. Fuck him. I'm a survivor. You had an axe in yeah. your head. Yeah. And you survived. I'm a what? You had. Like, Neighbors just like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, there's like still blood back there. Of course, and he's like. Oh, okay. Okay. No, okay. Is it bad? It's, it's bad. nothing it's for bad. you. Do not it's worry. nothing. We missed all the major organs. <laughs> You're fine. Yeah. You will be thrown overboard. Uh, if you jump overboard, we'll jump after you and we'll bring you back. And also, as a result of us not mostly knowing how to sail, you are also the first mate. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. <laughs> It's a big promotion for him. Well, I'm a carpenter to first place. <laughs> yeah. the worst. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. Welcome to the Mighty Nine. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to come up. So, thank you. <clears throat> should, I, should I go? Um, should I go get my stuff then? You're the first mate. Well. Why don't you give us an order? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you see, like he, he points towards you, and um. He's not a very intelligent fella. <laughs> It'll still double. Go fetch me some dried meat. Yeah, it don't feel like doing that to me. Maybe you should just go upstairs. I'm gonna go yeah. lay down for a minute. Um, okay. Okay. I'm just going to tie your hands while you're sleeping, though. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. That was really sad. Right, we want to just, you know, get along. We're all tired, I'm tired. But I'll go to work if I need to. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Make an intimidation check. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but. but that's how we know Caleb is serious. Yeah. But. <laughs> Well, I'm not certain, but I'm the one who has the dreams. The dreams. <gasps> okay, she said dreams. She said dreams. She has dreams. You have dreams. You have dreams. dreams too. You do. You do. You have dreams. You have dreams. You have dreams. You have dreams. <laughs> this big smile curls across her face, and you watch her go a little flush. She goes, "What kind of dreams? Do you often wake up vomiting salt water?" Do you have wet dreams? It's... <laughs> uh. <laughs> you
you, 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 you don't have to be embarrassed. Before we bring the cast back out, we have a very special guest here tonight. And um, this person is no bigger fan of the show or of you, the critters, none other than the person who we have to thank for Mr. Sam Regal. It's Momlin! <laughs> Look at this. She's got her dice bag. Oh my God. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. I'm so excited to be here. Great to see you. <laughs> Momlin and I have been watching the show from upstairs, and oh, it's so much fun. Are you having a good time? I'm having the best time of my life. Are, are you? Yes. Are you so happy to see so many great critters in, in your home of New York? I love all critters, and I feel the love. Oh, I love it. Okay, why don't you welcome back the cast? Okay, great. Wow, glad to say this. Welcome back the cast of Critical Role. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's go over here. I and mean, then we'll do that part over here. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, all right, before we get started, Momlin told me backstage that you have a question that you've always wanted to ask Matt Mercer since yes. you've been watching yes. the show. Yes, I want to ask Matt a question. Please Matt. See. Yes? What time is it? Let's go, let's go. Wait. Only, beca only because it's you. Aww. What's that? It's a new Oh, man. Oh, man. You're welcome, New York. You're welcome. Take a bow, take a bow. That was the Momlin free pass. Enjoy it while you can. So please, tell me how this happened. Before this goes any further, because I'm fascinated. Yeah. I would like to attempt to go into Frumpkin, the one ounce elf owl, if possible. Yep, Frumpkin is still kind of up on the deck. Yeah, I remember where that room was, so oh. Frumpkin oh. is taking a little fly around. Okay. <laughs> it, it's better when somebody's watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Frumpkin goes and perches on the outer balcony of the, of the, the Squall Eater. Captain, I, I admit, I too am very encouraged to find someone that seems to have gone sort of through the same sort of visions and trials that I have. You said it's been a long time since you've met another Chosen? Cause its body to see what else it must function. Sounds beautiful. Exactly the word I was searching for. <laughs> Speaking of beautiful. Oh! <laughs> I was so taken by that marking that tattoo you had. I was wondering if you might show it to me again. I think Make a they're persuasion about to check. get naked. <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> she kind of tugs down the scarf to reveal the tattoo without breaking eye contact, and goes, I'll do you one better. Oh! <laughs> Zip? <laughs> Removes the glove off of her right hand. <gasps> and in the palm, you see a familiar yellow eye emerging from the sun. <gasps> <laughs> 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 
Okay, okay. This is the blessing, at least the first stage. I have been chosen to be one step to his unsealing. Are you, t- are you uh, between your, uh, like a, a, a fucking eye or a tattoo of an eye? Make a perception check. <laughs> 16. Uh, it, you, you hope it's a tattoo, but the way the candlelight hits, it looks smooth. Oh, God. Somewhat glassy. <laughs> Fuck. That's getting weird. There's some Pan Labyrinth bullshit going on. <clears throat> my, my. <laughs> Fuck it. I feel now you and I are more connected than I could have ever imagined, and I will summon, I'll summon the sword. With a flash and a scattering of ocean water across the far wall of the chamber, the falchion emerges <laughs> in your grasp. <laughs> it's what it's always done! Wait, which, which sword? Which, I, which I what do you mean sword? Caleb can't hear any of this, but in the middle of the room he says, it is getting very kinky in that room. <laughs> Jester's just pacing back and forth. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> she immediately takes a step forward, like holding her palm forward still, and not even looking at you, just looking at the sword and specifically focusing on the eye in the center of the hilt. And she's speechless for a moment. You hear her breathe in <gasps> suddenly. Then perhaps it was destiny. Perhaps it was. Do you know what will happen if we... Sorry. (laughs) Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, (laughs) Do you know what will happen if we take this sphere to the the place of of its choosing? Have you seen what's unleashed? (laughs) To consume? (laughs) To consume. (laughs) Oh my god. Oh my god, Matt and Travis are gonna make out! It's just so much, you guys. It's just so much. Details. What is happening? What is happening? I, c- I confess, having spent so much time on the water, the, the command over it seems like too great a gift to receive, but I crave it. <laughs> she steps around the desk. Oh, fuck. <laughs> And just places her fingers on the hilt of the sword where the eye is. <laughs> then you'll need your rest. <gasps> Indeed. M- lady. We will all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will put my hand on hers and say. We will all need our rest for the trials to come. Thank you for sharing your story with me. I, I don't feel quite as alone in this. Thank you for your honesty, eventually. <laughs> it's like an onion, you gotta peel it, you know. I'm just I'm just Anyway, and she pulls her hand away. Go. And may sweet dreams find you. (laughs) 
I, I turn and I head towards the door and as I get there, I, I look back. <laughs> And I walk away. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh my God. I thought they were going to make Bumsen, but it did not happen. <laughs> they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. At this point, the door opens and Ford returns to the room. We weren't oh, listening hey, to anything at all. We know everything. No, 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 no. Can you please fill in the what details? What was going on? What did you guys do, huh? What happened? Want a seven-day-old banana? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, thank you. Where did that even come from? How much further uh, uh, days travel, or more than one day, till we reach our destination? Uh, with a full group like this, I'm trying to be as quiet as possible. I give us about uh, maybe one day. One day. It would be a night of camping along the way. And did you encounter any kind of threats? Uh, there are dangerous things in this jungle, but I, it is easy for me to keep out of sight as one man. This many, well, not as much. Uh, anything specific that we should be on guard for or prepared for? There are lizard folk that exist on the outskirts of this island. You mentioned that, yeah. They call the uh, river streams and the inlets home. Then there are the people of scale and fang, uh, the, the snake folk that exist further in, near this temple. Uh, the variations of their strange physical. Um, what are you guys doing over there? Trying to open candy. <laughs> How about we hold off? Done. How about we hold off? <laughs> Congratulations. That's sort of my fault, I apologize. <laughs> I'll get one shot. Can we get the shield away from him? Can we get the shield? Who's got one awesome shot? We do. We, we do? <laughs> we we do. do. What's your awesome shot? It's a little something we like to call Fluffer Nutter. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say yes. I just don't know if now's the time to be demoing a yeah. new thing. Can you pitch it to yeah, us in 30 seconds or quick, less? A quick pitch would be really good. Yeah. Do you have a one sheet? Or should, you know what? Fluff or nutter sounds great. No, no, no. I'm so high right now, but I know that that is not a good idea. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> what are you holding? What is that? I'm pulling out the little keg of black powder that Nott stole from the pirate ship. And I've got my explosive arrow knocked. Okay. Just Starting to get a picture, <laughs> yeah. A couple quick thoughts. Uh -huh. When we tried to blow up the tree, didn't work so well. Two, load-bearing beams in a closed room with no windows. So it's gonna hurt us, too. Fluffer nutter. Okay, the name is great. I'm just thinking maybe in practical use, not the best idea here. Think about this. I am the only one doing that. She throws it. I fire. It explodes. Mm -hmm. huh? No structural damage. Only damage to the creature. That's how I see it going down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're whispering all of this very if quietly. If you miss, though, the ground is covered in water, so the powder will get real wet. They could also uh, summon Schmidt. Schmidt. What is Schmidt? He's the invisible friend. My yeah, invisible but that's not going to do to like. Carry the keg over. No, 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 no keg. No keg. <laughs> we, this is this is fantasy and magic. Fuck the black powder keg. Why are you talking We're at the counter argument. <laughs> <laughs> right. Good. Good. <laughs> Have a strong feeling that keg of black powder won't do that much damage. It will make. 
It'll deafen the creature. Nope, don't even know if it has ears. <laughs> it might bring some rocks down from the ceiling. And kill us all. No, it'll make a big puff of smoke. No one will be able to see. Molly, kind caduceus, fuck, <gasps> bosh. Oh. Wow. Sorry, it happens that all hurts. the time. That hurts. Do you have Yasha's something? Yasha's crying now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kate. I'm gonna let the Not. trees know that we're oh, here. Yeah. Oh. About a minute's passed since you've eaten that fruit. <gasps> it wasn't and you start feeling a little tingly on the inside of oh, your body. Oh, yummy. <laughs> tingly out. Does it burn when you pee? You turn to look at Caleb and like it's crazy, his hair's like purple. Now it's pink, now it's orange. Now it's purple. Oh, oh no! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, no. What is happening? What Your happened? eyes are like What's big black His pupils saucers. are purely dilated. Your eyes are, are like, they're normally like, you know, <laughs> tea saucers, but now they're like full plates. Are you all right? <laughs> As you're glancing around, what little bit of the light orbs that are kind of slowly drifting, they're like leaving trails behind. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you should try some of this fruit, guys. Make a perception check. Six, okay. Man. This is the craziest place we've ever been. I can't believe you just ate it's some of this shit on me. Are you okay? <laughs> Do that more. It feels nice, the wind. <laughs> Do that more. <laughs> Slower. How much have you oh, had from yeah. that bottle of yours? No, just let me enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I just had one of these fruits. And I think I know everything now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. You know, it doesn't matter if Jamedi's alive or dead. Wait, what? We're all going to be dead at some point. I think what? he's clearly messed up. Did you have a fresh at this point, fruit? Or? Jamedi and Avantika have managed to join you below in the chamber. Oh. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hello? Hey! Uh, Jimmy's like, doing this really well. He pulls out a torch and lights it up to kind of, it's very <laughs> Everyone like turns slowly to nod. It's like Rocky Raccoon going through the dimensional rift. Already a merry go round of lights going around Nod's head. Uh, Ford, you're up. Okay, seeing, uh, looking around, still having plenty of air in my lungs, I turn around and see Jester starting to panic and I know that she has the key, so I will reach out, grab her face, and bring her into a kiss. <gasps> and I will blow all of my air into it her hurt. lungs. Oh, oh shit. No. Are you upside down right now? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Shape so of water. Oh, <laughs> yeah. She is no longer drowning, okay. but you have to make a con save at the end of your turn. Okay, fair enough. So that's your action to do that. that is yeah. So you so breathe, hot. simmer your air into there. Dark toe. In your future. Uh, semen, semen everywhere. Oh man, another drop Stop to drink. drink. <laughs> no? No, no. I don't even know. I don't. It wasn't even great. <laughs> it wasn't even a good me. one. Nope. I think it finally <laughs> happened. Easy. I think you finally broke me. <laughs> I'm broken now. He's a broken I'm a broken man. <laughs> On that note, we love you guys.